Paddock are going through their worst form in the club's history. With three losses on the bounce, promotion is looking less and less likely with each game that goes past. But this week, it's cup action. This might be Paddock's only chance for silverware this season. As well as the poor form, Paddock are facing an injury crisis with 18 players unavailable this week through injury and other reasons. But one man's loss is another man's opportunity. Paddock have some new faces in the squad today. Players from other teams within the club, they'll be looking to impress. But it's the cup this week. Paddock need to win. They don't want to be four losses on the bounce. We're missing some big players. We've lost some big players. There's some players that are going to be long term out. Um, some players I need to speak to them about whether or not we can disclose what's going on. But if I could have those 18 coupled with the, well, well we've got 14 that we've actually turned up with today. If I could have those down at training week in, week out, twice a week, we could get some work done. And I don't think we'd be on a, a big losing streak. I think we'd turn it around no problems. We got a couple of injuries, not a huge amount of injuries, but we've picked up a few knocks. Um, and then we've just got some unavailabilities. It's just, it's incredibly frustrating. But like I said the other day, the mood is good, despite the um, the amount of losses that we're on and uh, and the availabilities that we've got. There's a bit of a, a good stoicism to the lads that they're, they're keen to just get on and get it done. And I hope that they can put that into today, because if they turn up with the right attitude today, if we just score first, I think we go on and win. I think the issue in the last three games is that we've started excellent 20, 25 minutes. Then we've conceded. Um, and not always in amazing circumstances, some weird circumstances, but for whatever reason, we've not been able to get a foothold back in the game. But I think confidence is a big thing. And I think if we'd have scored, we might have scored a second, we might have scored a third, and, and we probably wouldn't have gone on the run that we've been on. So Richie and Nasser are going to be starting today, but they're not. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? They were late. And that's, you know, even with the circumstances that surround the club, you're still sticking to the policy of if you're late, you dropped. dropped? I've wanted to do this for a few weeks um, because I think the, the arrival times of some of the players isn't good enough. It's not allowing themselves enough preparation. It's not fair on their teammates. I've been reluctant to do it in a league where it potentially costs us three points because I don't want to be sitting back going, that costs us promotion because... I wouldn't accept someone being two minutes late. Today's a cup game. The consequences are we don't progress in the cup. I don't think the consequences are severe, but the message is clear. You know, show the club and your teammates a bit more respect, get here on time, and you start. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you're on the bench. Mikey Burt, James Oak, say their names plenty of times on the old comms. Uh, lads, three, three losses on the bounce. First time it's happened all season, but well, probably first time it's happened ever. Is the mood a bit shit at the minute? Yeah. Uh, I think the first thing I said when we got in the changing room was we need to liven up a little bit because it was flat. Yeah. Yeah, we had no speaker, but it, no one was speaking to each other. Really? Yeah. yeah and is it, was it, is it always like that? Because No, usually it's but it, it, it is. Even with tunes good, and stuff in the changing yeah, yeah. rooms, it's just. Yeah. It mixed squad and you've got new players coming in who, That's true. who haven't played, you know, obviously they don't know as well as we know each other in. Yeah. It is just a bit quiet, but that's what happens when you bring new players in. Well, that's the thing as well, like, apart, uh, as well as the results, like, it's like, I think Steve was saying there's like 17 players yeah. available, We've got a, which is a joke. Yeah, really. we've got a, another starting 11 missing, basically, yeah. if you're looking at it like that. So is it, is it like, is it one of those where like, you're looking at players coming in and thinking, this guy could do something, this guy could do something, or is it more like, Shit, we're missing this lad today. I'm no, obviously this it's lad opportunities today. for the other lads that are coming in, isn't yeah, it? Because yeah. there's players starting today that obviously, you know, deserve that opportunity by turning up week in, week out. So I don't think a chance to prove I it. I don't think Steve would bring someone in if he didn't think that he could do a job. Really? I think he would just have 12 on the bench or 13 on the bench. Obviously, we've got three subs today. So opportunity for yeah, them. Yeah, there's an opportunity. For like, them we'll too. probably chat to a couple of them in a bit. Yeah, but yeah. like, as captain, what's like your role? to try and make them feel welcome just or kind speak of get to integrated them make sure that they feel part of the team mm. not just single them out and leave yeah. them in the corner yeah, yeah I get you and then last thing with like the mood do you think it's a case of like if you get a win today for example team who beat us last time you know 
a squad that's like not as good as usual. It'll bring you together. That'll just, it'll be, it'll that's all big, you need, kind of thing. Is that what you're thinking? Big booster because it's not going to be a game of football. This with the pitch, it's going to be it's going to be a dog fight. I haven't seen the pitch, but apparently it's it's going to be a dog fight like like the last round. So if we fight for each other, we'll get the win, and you know obviously that one that will lift us because that puts us into the semi final. Yeah. The I think a win today is is what we need just to boost everyone's spirits a little bit yeah, 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 yeah. and boost the team spirit as well because like I said before it's been flat uh-huh. it's been flat at training it's been flat the past couple of weeks so I think if we win today that's what's going to change it yeah, yeah. last time we came here different pitch but same fucking team we lost 4-0 and we lost on fight Mike remember the first goal two yeah. minutes in yeah we're not doing anything like that again today from corners especially your call. I want them fucking attack with violence. That's from the goalkeeper to every single man in there. No one stands still and watches the ball. You need to start and attack the ball. Every single fucking one of you. Same when we when we uh, got a, an attacking set piece. I want you to fucking attack the ball. Answer me if you've never played a scouts team before. Really? Okay. What's the info, lads? Physical game. No shit. Yeah. The gobby. Did you say point rate? Oh, Alright, okay. <laughs> they're gobby, they're aggressive, but they know the game. So they always know the game. They're always a bit shit shithousery, they always got a little bit of football intelligence about them. They know the fucking game. But it will be aggressive and it will be gobby. You have to go toe to toe with the fucking gobby side of it. And you have to fucking let them know they're in a fucking fight from the off. That's the game. That's the only way you get over a scouts team. Joel got fucking punched in the last game. And do you know what? Do you know what? The whole fucking team didn't steam in. What does it say on there? Boys, every fucker's in today. Attitude? What's the second point? What's the second point? One in all in. One in all in. I'm fucking 100% serious. If it fucking goes off today, and I fully expect it to, I want the fucking lot of you in. Young Anyone games. that's got that fucking badge on the chest, no one fucking steps towards them without the fucking lot of you having something to say about it. Today is about fucking heart and grit. That's it. Today is about fucking character. You need to fucking look each other in the eye and say, are you fucking on the same page as I am? Because if not, you can fuck off. We have three defeats on the bounce. We've never gone free. Do not make it fucking four today. Do not come off that pitch and go, do you know what? I give a fucking 150 fucking percent out there today. This ain't about skill today. This is about fucking heart, will and character. And you're backing each other up. Let's have a fucking good, intense fucking attitude in training now, in the warm-up. And let's go and get fucking through to the next round. Alright? Let's fucking go. Paulo Santos. We've got no sir, we all know no sir. We've got a new man today, Paolo. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 20 years old, come from Birmingham, originally from Portugal and centre half. So you've been playing at Paddock for a while in like the other teams? Yeah, for the under-21s, development and the res- 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 reserves, sorry. Yeah, sweet. And you played for the first team before? Yeah, like, one game. Plays. What game was that? Um, I'm not 100% too sure. I forgot what's the team called. It was a while back then. Yeah. yeah. Right, no, it's a new man coming in today. We've got like quite a few players unavailable. Yeah. Do you think it's an opportunity for him today? Yeah, of course. It's an opportunity for him, you know, players in reserves and 21 to, um, you know, cement themselves in the first team, you know, get their names involved. Um, I heard Paolo was um, captain of the under 21s team, so, you know, um, he's obviously got that experience of being a leader as well, so hopefully he can bring that into the first team as well. Yeah. Hey, you lived in Birmingham for a bit, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lived in Were Birmingham for three years. Were you linking up back in Birmingham? <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, we, should, we should have it. We yeah, should have yeah, still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Um, so team today playing Haydock, I think it was yeah. like I think it was four nil or four one yeah, last time yeah, we played yeah, 4-0, it. Four nil, I think it was. Again, like it's, it's, it's one of those where like it, you look at it from the outside and you think, oh shit, like three games lost on the bounce, we're facing another tough team today. Like, but then as players, how is it you're trying to combat that? Because like it can get quite negative, but like obviously yeah, you want to get a win today in the cup. 
how yeah. do you change that vibe? Of course. Um, obviously, we went on we went on like a team a team night out. Well, not night out. We went bowling. You know, just a little team bonding type thing. Where was my invite? I, I mean, we invited what everybody. I put I I organized. It. I put it in the <laughs> chat. Um, but yeah, um, I feel like um, that helped us. You know, come together more as a team. I feel like after Christmas, because we hadn't seen each other for so long due to like games being cancelled and stuff like that, the team kind of connection kind of went a little bit. But um, we've built that back over the past three weeks, and I feel like. As bad as the losses have been, it's kind of helped us come together as a team as well. And, uh, you know, we're more than eager to, you know, get back to winning ways now. So I think it's going to get really stuck in today. Sweet. And do you think, like, when you finally get that win, whether it's today or next week, that's going to be, like, the catalyst the yeah. thing that changes things? Yeah, 100%. And gets 100%. the vibe back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, as soon as we get that win sooner rather than later, um, I feel like the team's going to be bouncing again. Like, we're bouncing already, to be fair, but, like, um, you know, just... The, w- the feeling of, w- of winning games is, is different in it so um, as soon as we get back to that I think we'll be good sweet yeah. cool I'll do no cheers, lad. cheers cheers ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to another Stretford Paddock highlights video today we're in cup action three losses on the bounce and we're going to put it right today in the cup we're in Haydock Haydock Cricket Club to be exact the pitch I tell you it does not look like a cricket pitch that's for sure but we're in action today in the J.A. Walton Cup um, against Haydock lost to them 4-0 earlier in the season We've got to do better today right starting lineup today Victor Jimenez is in there and it's a back four of Callum Kilrow James Oak the captain Tommy McFarlane and Mikey Burke um, and we've got a midfield three Joe Coleman Keo Dadawali and Nosa Yamu, and a forward three of Daniel Bakari Aftab Jan and Joa De Andrade substitutes We've got Aji, De Santos, and Shakur. And there's a whistle, and we're underway here in Haydock at the Haydock Cricket Club. Got a nice little forest. No, not a forest. A nice little woodland area behind the pitch. We've got the cricket pitch up there, which is in bad nick, I can tell you that. And we've got a ladder behind one of the goals. Yeah, basically, he's dropped them. He's dropped them. Two players were late, not even by much as well, five minutes or so. But Steve's dropped them, uh, and he's gone with Kilrow and uh, Coleman instead, which is uh, interesting. We talked about it a little bit in the post-match, in, uh, pre-match interview, which you'll hear uh, in the highlights. But Steve wants to keep the standards high, despite, you know, despite not having loads of players available. Anyway, here's KO'd in the middle, shifts it out wide, a lovely weighted pass to Aftab, who has a chance to cross. Can he cross it in, Aftab? Tries to beat his man, doesn't, but it's a throw in. Throw into Paddock. How's that not a Paddock throw in, ref? Seems like Haydock shouted louder and won the throw in. Anyway, they've got the throw in deep into their own half. Lots of noise, guys. Close pitch today. I'm not in the corner, a bit close to the bench. Anyway, poor throw in. KO picks it up. Tries to switch it. Here's Coleman. Picks up the loose ball. Plays it into Joa. Another big tackle in. How's that on Paddock? Goodness me. Haydock, lively. So, Haydock throwing. Well into Paddock's half. Peels for foul throw. From Tommy. Right, here's Haydock. They're going to go back. Now they're going to lump it into the box. Vic's there though. Doesn't quite catch it, but then he gets the rebound. No, he doesn't. Chance here for Haydock. They have the ball in the back of the net, but Victor Jimenez was fouled there, so there'll be no goal standing. Remains nil-nil. Little bit of a fumble from Vic. Bounce just in front of him. A tough one. So Aftab Jan and Nosu Yamu, the two men forward uh, for Paddock. If they can get it uh, quickly cleared, they should be able to form a counter with those two players. The first thing Paddock have got to focus on here is dealing with this corner. In it comes, an in-swinger. Looped high. Good header, though, by Tommy McFarlane. And Nosa trying to get towards the loose ball. But it's back with Haydock. Here's their winger. Can he get a ball in? Yes, he can. But a good header again from McFarlane. Goes out behind the goal for another corner. Good defending from Paddock. And then Steve Ste actually told me in the pre-match interview... If you look at it on paper with the players we have out we, we should lose today so we are underdogs anyway another ball in uh, didn't see who headed that but it's still in the mixer whose feet is it at it's hard to tell number nine heads it goalwards balls up in the air pinball in the box 
and Joa eventually gets it cleared. And here's Nosa, Campad at counter. Jan making a run ahead of him. Tries to play it in behind him, and he does. Jan running on, can he put pressure on the keeper? Is it gonna bobble? Ooh, well played though from Haydock. They kept calm, and they've dealt with the, uh, with the pressure from Paddock there, well played. Is it raining still? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Chance here for Haydock. Oh, and it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Number seven just broke through there. Tommy McFarlane, he had to make the challenge, but he was just slightly too far away from the player. At full reach, tried to get the ball. So Victor Jimenez, I believe he saved the penalty before for Paddock. He's got a chance here. Bobbly pitch. I'm not sure what the penalty spot looks like. That ball looks a bit high, though. Anyway, number 11. Hands on his waist. He steps up. Takes the penalty and hits the back of the net. And Paddock. 1-0 down. Here in the cup. Can I get back into it? Let's hope so. Haydock. Take the lead from the spot. 1-0. Paddock just look a bit quiet. Very interesting what's going on at Paddock. Absolutely unbelievable run we went on. Playing some fantastic football. Just out of nowhere. So let's see what Paddock can do here. Can they deal with this? McFarlane and Lotzi definitely looking to get their heads on. In comes the ball. And it is eventually cleared. A fist there from Victor Jimenez. But it did knock down into the area. Great ball in. And there's a chance here. And that's a fantastic reflex save from Victor Jimenez. But it is an offside. Offside given. Great ball in by the Haydock man. Good header. Unopposed. But Victor Jimenez there. With a brilliant shot stopping save. Just tipping it onto the bar. So, Paddock with a throw in. Flicked on by Bakari. And cleared by Haydock. Here's KO'd in the middle. Wins a header. Ball through the middle it goes. But who has possession now? Haydock do. Good turn from their number seven. Good link up play from Haydock. But they have given it away. Here's Mikey Burt. Switches it to Joe. A good pass. Joe does well though to keep the ball alive. Well done, Joe says Steve. Kilroy try to switch the play. Jan and Joe are switching wings. Something that Paddock do quite often. Good challenge from KO, but it's a great ball in behind. And here's number nine for Haydock. One on one with Oatsy. Beats him. Goes around the outside. Number 12 has a chance to shoot. And he just can't get his right foot round it. It trickled into the hands of Victor Jimenez. Let off of Paddock. Here's Jimenez. McFarlane turns, got a bit of space, got a bit of time. Off he goes, Harry Maguire style. Gives it to Yamu. No to dispossessed, but the ball goes out for a paddock throw in. Peeling for everything, foul throw. Here's Nosa. Cuts it inside to Coleman. Coleman to Aftab. Good tackle from the Haydock man. Still with paddock though. Coleman spreads it out nicely to Joa. Here's Joa now, down the right. What can he do? Player gets over to him. But he goes back. Here's Kilra. And now Coleman has the ball. Paddock just enjoying a bit of possession for the first time, really, in this half. Here's Burke. Into Iyamu. Iyamu forces the pass a bit too early. Ball cleared. But yeah, for the first time, a little bit of possession here for Paddock. Here's Nosa. No, see Yamu. Can he find a ball in behind? Goes over the top. And he just goes into the keeper's hands, but a lot more positive from Paddock. Hands go up. Chance. Headed away. Oh, he can claim it on the edge of the box, though. Gives it to Nosa. Good turn from Nosa. But he loses possession. And Haydock have a chance to counter. Number 11 bringing it forward. Trying to force it wide. Aftab putting pressure on the number 12 now. Good tackle from Aftab. Does really well. And does he win the foul? He does. Really good play from Aftab there. Winning the ball back and then forcing the foul. But yeah, so Paddock have a free kick wide here. They're not giving a free kick. Throwing it was. Anyway, here's Aftab. Can he whip it in? Cuts inside instead. Good defending though from the number four. Ball back with Paddock. Pinball in the middle. It's going one way and it's coming the rest. Coming the other. Here's 12. 
looking for a ball in behind. A number of nines here. He's gone past Victor Jimenez. He's got an open net. Callum Kilro cuts it out. Can he? And it's in the back of the net. And Stretford Paddock just when they're starting to get into the game. Why is he fucking come flying out and not get it? Delay it. Absolute fucking woeful. James Oat into Aftab Jan, who loses it straight away. And another chance for a counter. Here's number 12. He's got a chance to shoot here. One on one with Victor Jimenez. It's 3 0, guys. It's 3 0. I can't believe it. I hate to break the news to you guys. Paddock, a few heads in hands, but guys, just when Paddock were growing into the game. Hands off your hups. Hands off your hups, says Tommy. And that's the half time whistle. Straight for Paddock, a 3 0 down to Haydock here in the G Walton Challenge Cup. When they played it in, when we give a penalty away, from where I'm standing, it looked about five feet offside. They're not getting stuff, or they are getting stuff because they are claiming. So when I say to you, fucking claim, she's listening to them. That's why I'm telling you to fucking claim for stuff. And also, while you're claiming for stuff, it keeps you switched on. I just told Tommy, start playing them offside. Because when you start looking for the offside, you start looking left and right. And you start communicating as a back line. There's always another fucking reason why we say the things that we're saying. Danny, next time you're on Smith back, you'll never play for me again. Where did I tell you to play? In the six. Yeah, get on the fucking six. For the second half, I want you to get on the four. He's the only one that plays out. I don't want you to leave a fucking pair of boots on him, okay? Let him know. He's the only one that they play out through at the back. The other one they don't even give the ball to. All they're doing is going fucking super long and super direct. That is it. We've actually played some really good football. I don't know how you've played it on this fucking pitch. When we've decided to get our heads up and communicate to each other and start knocking it around. Guys, it's freezing cold. Paddock of 4 0 down. But do you know what's making me happy? The fact that I know I've got the one football app. Can't wait to check it later. I don't know what time United are kicking off. Is it seven or is it eight? The one football app will tell me. Download it, link in the description. It's amazing. Got a cold runny nose. I'm wet. I'm watching Paddock lose. But I've got the one football app. And if you want it too, you know where to download it. Link in the description. Back for the second half. Paddock kicking off. Couple of changes. NASA coming on at left back. Uh, Mikey Burt though. Uh, where's Mikey? Mikey's still on the pitch. Sorry. Excuse me. NASA's come on in the middle for Coleman and we've got Ajay on at right back for Kilroy they're the two changes so far interesting half time talk bit of uh, division uh, amongst some of the ranks steered one message Oatsy wasn't too happy with it anyway Haydock loop a ball into the box Nasser gets his first action of the game with a good head there and here's Mikey Burt loses the ball chance to whip it in Nasser clears it though and here's the right back for Haydock battling with Jan he comes out the better man though he's got the ball number two tries to beat KO Nasser gets there though leaves a hand in his face Nasser weren't happy with that good feet from Nosa though and here's Jan advancing down the left here's Nosa now what can Nosa do Paddock just advancing down the left can they get a ball in to throw in and wins the ball back. Nasser shifts it on to Mikey Burke now. Paddock just venturing into the half of Haydock. A failed pass there from Burke though. And Haydock have the ball back. And they look for a ball over the top. Pretty ball ball though. Good defending from Oatsy. He's got a bit of space ahead of him. Just advancing very calmly. Looking for something to do, Oatsy. What can he do with this ball? Gives it to Nosa. Nosa Iyama in the middle. He gives it to McFarlane. Back to Oatsy. Into um, Bakari. Danny Bakari though just turns and plays a pretty sloppy pass. Which just gives the ball straight back to the home side. The home side who as it stands are going through to the semi-final of the cup. Aftab though does well. But number four again. Probably been their best defender so far. And that's a great tackle from Nasser Shakur. Puts it out of play for a Haydock throw in. Paddock back with the ball though, given away from Haydock after that throw in. And here's Joa. 
Nice play from Joa. Gives it to Nosa. He plays a good pass in for Mikey. Can Mikey whip it in with his left foot? Cuts back. Here's Mikey Burt. What can he do? He beat his man. Whips it in with his right foot. Good ball, but great header away from the centre back there. And there's a ball over the top here. That is going to just trickle away to Vic. So James Oates standing over his free kick. Again, very central on the halfway line. He gives it to Nosa. Nosa with a man on him. He's looking both ways. And he passes it nicely out to Ajay at right back, who gets fouled. Shower though does well. Big tackle. Can we come back for the first one, ref? No. But that was a huge tackle there from the Hartford man. Not the Hartford. Haydock. And that does just give them a little lift. Some of their fans like that. But Paddock have a throw in. Ajay puts it into a dangerous area, which just isn't occupied by anyone, unfortunately. <laughs> I wouldn't say KO'd, but I said hey. But there's a chance here. Number 12's in. And guys, it's 4 0. It's 4 0, guys. And just like the second goal, a ball over the top wasn't dealt with. Paddock got caught. The number 12 with his pace. Paddock kick off. The players themselves would know that they haven't played good enough. Shouldn't need the manager to tell them, especially if it's sloppy mistakes. Geez, not mincing words then. Ball crossed in, but Oatsy does well though to take a touch and then clear it. Not even didn't even go out for a throw in. Great defending from Oatsy. Good pass though. Here's Nosa now. He's got a bit of space ahead of him. Man behind. Man on. That's a foul though on Nosa and Paddock of a free kick on the edge of the box. He's just getting some <laughs> mud off the bottom of his studs, Mikey. He's definitely going to have a pop here. Oh, and guys, I don't even want to tell you what I've just seen. That was, guys, really, really poor bit of play there. Loose pass, though. Victor Jimenez will claim that. Gives it to Ajay at right back. Turns, cuts inside. Can he drive forward? He gives it to Joa. Foul on him. Ref doesn't give it. It's all right. Advantage anyway. Poor pass, though, from Joa. Plays the, with the outside of his foot. But Aftab wins it back. And Aftab's been getting really stuck in and wins the foul again there, Aftab. Lots of energy from Aftab. Very, very quiet start to the game. But he's grown into it. Here's no Suyamu now. Driving forward. Then he gives it out wide. Good pass from him. And here's Burke. Beats number two. Can he get a ball in? Ah, oh, it's a goal kick, that. Good defending from the centre-back. Yeah, momentum was definitely killed by... Uh, but this happens, yeah, this happens at grassroots football every season. Every season. Weather gets a few games cancelled. There's obviously usually a break around Christmas time. This is normal. Um, I think I think the biggest thing has been injuries. Injuries and confidence. Good save from Vic. We'll have a rebound here, Haydock. Number 12, knocking it past Vic. And that's good defending from Paddock. Shot from number 20. Completely misses the ball. And Paddock have a chance to counter here. Here's Nasser. Nasser Shakur giving it to Aftab Jan. Aftab Jan going outwards, going inwards, goes inwards. Blocked, but Nasser has the loose ball. No Yamu. Can he have a pop here, Nosa? Doesn't shoot, gives it to Aftab. Otsi on the edge of the box. Great strike and great save. Joa with the rebound. What can he do? Goes out. And he wins the corner. Means the ball's back with Vic. Got a player, Richie. Foul on Ajay. They nearly lost the ball though. Good pressure from their number nine. But just did a little bit too much and forced the foul. Players want to play well against Stretford Paddock because they can watch the highlights later. Anyway, here's no sir. They listen to me as well. It's quite funny, isn't it? They're all going to be listening to me. Here's no Suyamu. Plays a 1 2 with Otsi. Here's Mikey Burt now out on the left. Eventually does really well, Mikey. Beats two men, put the ball in. Can Otsi shoot on the edge of the box? He can, but it's blocked. Here's Nosa. Has a pop. Oh, and the deflection just takes it inches wide of the post. Good job we got it today, and it was just about usable. Just about. Ball lost again, though, by Paddock. And Haydock looked to counter. 
Aji against the number nine here. It's a battle that he's lost. There's a little clip there. The ref has given the foul. She had a second to think about it. I thought she wasn't going to give that then. So he's going to go over the wall. There's a lot of space. Two Vicks left. Gets it over the wall. Saved by Vic. Good save. But there's a chance for the rebound. No one's there. But KO'd is the man who eventually knocks it out for a corner. Good save from Vic. But he is just asking his players. Who was there? Oh, great ball in. Brilliant header. Just glanced on, but then headed away. Is the ball still in? Goal kick's given. Thought the ball went out. I think he came back in off of a bobble, which is quite funny. Again, Paddock, the final ball is cut out, and then the ball gets shifted forward, and they have a chance to counter. Number 12 now, battling with Mikey. Puts it through his legs. Never. And ball, ref! Great defending from Mikey. He got nutmegged, but like just did really well to stop the attacker getting it on the other side. He wasn't happy about it, and he ended up handballing it out of a frustration. Chance for Joa now, though. Can he get a shot off? He's cut inside. His shot trickles along. Oh, and it went through the feet of Bakari. He just couldn't get it goalwards. Foul on Ajay. Not given. But we have a throw it in the end. Not long left now, guys. About a minute into injury time. I'll just fi take a final check of the comments. See what you guys are saying. And that is full time whistle, guys. Paddock exit the cup today. The Jay Walton Challenge Cup with a 4 0 loss for the second week in a row. Against Haydock this week. Just weren't good enough again today, the boys. And for the fourth game in the row, Paddock have lost. They've played four games now. Only conceded, sorry, only scored one goal. Conceded a fair few. That's all I'll say. Not the best result. Right, Tommy. Second week on the bounce, we've conceded four and not scored. Yeah. How tough is it being a player in the digestion room at the minute? Oh, it's tough. It's always tough to lose, no matter what the result is. It's especially tough to lose by four and not score any goals. Um, it's, it's hard to see. We, we work on stuff in training and we do try to take it in. And, and it's just some things, it's just not going away at the moment, which is annoying. I think we could be creating more chances, but we need to be shutting the back door as well. We, Right now, you'd, I'd take a 1-0 one win -no all day long. Clean sheet and just get one goal. Try to get yourself back on track. Do um, do players like have different... Because like, when things aren't working, mm. obviously it's easy to go, oh, this is the problem, that's the problem, this needs to change. But like, are there conversations between the players and the coaches, people yeah. chipping in and giving their ideas? Yeah, it's, it's an open open dressing room. Like, no one's... The feedback's welcome from the coaches. The players are like obviously want to put their feedback on. We'll try and do what the players want as well but obviously there's got to come to the crux of the Steve's what Steve wants to do as well everything there's two yeah. offsides that weren't offside that we got because yeah. everyone yeah. tried for it and they're as well and then with the offside that you know, there's a couple of potential offsides that we didn't fucking shout I understand what Oates is saying about if it's uh, we've kicked it out and it's not a throw in but the point I'm trying to make I'm exaggerating so like everyone throws I'm exaggerating to make the fucking point yeah, play for everything yeah. well it's got to start I mean even the little things as well found for us doesn't matter you set the standard. Well, like it's not, not ob obvious ones, but. You can see eight goals today in the fucking world. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on. Unanswered eight goals yeah. in the fucking arse. And they want, they want the same level of intensity as they were in the first one. Nothing on it. Their play's missing as well. Real fan ownership, real fan input, real fan change, real fan power. 50 plus one, we can go better than that. 100 plus none. Download our app, view the free content, read about the club, that's fine. But if you want more, become a member. To vote, to go behind the scenes, to make an impact, interact with a global community around the world, influencing how we grow, where we play, club ethics and values. The more members we have, the faster we grow. Support the club, run the club, own the club. This is ours and no one will take it away. The future is in all our hands.